Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at using a double pull, double throw switch or a double pull, double throw relay in order to control the direction of a DC motor or basically reverse the polarity of any direct current device. Uh, so anyhow, uh, I have a relay, double pull, double throw relays and switches are pretty easily recognizable because I always have six pins on them. Uh, for the contacts. Now, of course, the relay is going to have two more pins to turn the coil on and off. But anyway, the wiring in order to do this is actually extremely simple. Uh, basically, what you're going to end up doing is you're going to connect this pin over to the far pin on the opposite corner, and you're going to connect this pin to the pin on the opposite corner as well. And then the power will come in on the center two pins and you'll hook up the motor to one of the outer two sets of pins. It doesn't matter if you hook up the motor across this pin and this pin or this pin and this pin, it'll work the same way. I've already taken the liberty of wiring one of these things. And you'll see what I was talking about here, hopefully the two yellow wires is where the power is gonna go in. So the two yellow wires there, it doesn't look like it's focused on this, right? But anyway, the two yellow wires are on the two center pins of the relay. And then you have this outside pin jumping across to the other, uh, to the opposite corner. Then this pin jumps across to the opposite corner. And then these two pins are what gets hooked up to the motor. So, and I'll demonstrate this here. So I've got power coming in. I've got power for the motor. We'll hook across two yellow wires, which are hooked across two middle pins of the relay. And you'll see that starts spinning in a direction. And now in order to get this to work, you can do this with a switch as well. And of course, at this point, you just flip the switch and it would change the direction of the motor. But in my case, since I've got a relay, I have to energize the relay coil, which will be the same effect as flipping a switch. All right, so if I put my finger on this, you'll notice that the tape is hitting one side of my finger. And if I energize the relay coil, so it in essence flips the switch, You'll notice it starts hitting on the other side. And if I unhook it, it'll go back to where it was. So let's go ahead and get a multimeter out and do some basic measurements on this. All right, so now what I've done is I've taken this multimeter and I've hooked it across the leads of the motor. You notice right now we're at 1.43 volts. And if I turn the relay on, now we're at negative 1.43-ish. So anyway, that's all we're doing. Is all we're doing is flipping that polarity around so it's basically the same as taking these wires off of the power and moving it around like this has the exact same effect except for we're doing that with a relay instead of doing it by hand so anyway i'm going to draw this out just to be a little bit redundant and give you another diagram for wiring this thing all right so we're going to go ahead and draw this out and i should be able to illustrate kind of what's happening as well with this so we have the bottom six connections on our relay or switch something like that and our wiring basically just involves connecting this pin up to this pin and this pin not connected to that and then over to this pin. And then we've got uh, our power coming in, so we'll just call that VCC. And then over here we have ground. And then our motor is getting connected up to this pin, so these just go off to the load. Uh, whatever that happens to be. Now, the way that this works is actually pretty simple. Uh, whenever you have a double pull, double throw switch like this, you essentially have two switch contacts that are set up somewhat like this. And you'll actually have a contact here, and you'll have a contact down here, and you'll be able to switch between them. So, They'll both be in the same state at the same time. Something like that. 
So that's about what the switches would look like on an actual schematic. Now, when you turn the switch on, what happens is they basically invert. So instead of going to that top contact, now you're gonna have the switch connected into the bottom contact. I know these drawings aren't very good, but should get the point across hopefully. So this is your switch in one state. And this is your switch in the other state. So in this case, this might be when the relay coil is not energized, and this might be when the relay coil is energized. But what happens is the center pins get connected. So the two center pins are getting connected to either this set of outer pins or this set of outer pins. And you can actually see kind of how this works by the cross. So when the, uh, when the relay is connected to these two pins, you will have the power flowing straight from your VCC through the relay contacts and straight from ground through the relay contacts into your motor or whatever the load happens to be. So you'll have plus here and minus over here. But when that switch or relay changes state, so whatever this, let's just say that the relay was on here. If the relay turns off, now what's gonna happen is you will, no, you will no longer have the connection here and here. The connection will go here and here. So now what you have is VCC is flowing down here through this piece of wire and then uh, and essentially crossing over. And then that's going into this side of the motor. So now you have positive over here. And likewise, you have ground that's flowing through this set of relay contacts crossing over and coming to this side of the motor so now this is the minus and you have changed the direction of the motor by changing the polarity now this would also work for uh, linear actuators uh, if they have like in stops on them which i think most linear actuators have like built-in limit switches so that you can go all the way to the end and just leave the power on them uh, anything that needs the polarity flipped on it is essentially what this is set up for and uh, one minor word of caution is uh, if you're driving a big motor and you just flip the polarity on it, it might do damage to it, especially over time if you do that a whole bunch of times. Uh, so you might want to have some way of turning off the power before you switch the polarity. Uh, some applications is not going to matter, but... Uh, Anyway, this kind of takes the place of an H bridge. This is kind of a, this is the electromechanical approach to an H bridge. Now this does make a little bit more sense to do it with a switch than it does a relay, because if you're doing it with a relay, you could almost just go out and make an H bridge, though you could argue that this is a decent bit simpler than wiring up an entire H bridge out of MOSFETs or whatever. Uh, so this is a fairly simple way to do uh, motor reversing though. Uh, the relays are also good for quite a bit of current uh, without any worries of voltage drop because it is just switch contacts. Uh, but also relays wear out. Uh, anyway, that gives you a bit of an idea. So anyway, hopefully that gives you a pretty good crash course in how to use a relay in order to control the direction of a motor or control polarity of anything else. So uh, anyway, hopefully you guys found that useful and uh, I'll see you next time guys. Bye.